Hi there and welcome back to the PilotAware YouTube channel. In this video we'll see how the PilotAware Atom Grid Network provides pilots with flight data services when in range of at least one Atom ground station. Over 200 stations have now been installed across the UK and in parts of Europe. In response to customer demand, the first set of data that Pilot Aware will rebroadcast is weather information in the form of meteorological aerodrome reports or METARs. So what are METARs? As all pilots will know from their in-flight training, a METAR provides weather information in a specific shorthand notation. METARs are used to help pilots understand how the weather might change as they fly from one location to another. METARs are often consulted before flight, but can be paper-based, difficult to obtain, or just plain forgotten. To have METARs delivered at low cost to the in-flight cockpit has been sought by many, promised by some, but not delivered. But now it is available to all users of Pilot Aware Rosetta and Classic units, using the Atom Grid Network. So how does PilotAware deliver in-flight METARs without using a mobile or satellite connection and an expensive subscription? Well, if you've been following parts one to three of this series of videos, you will be familiar with the Atom Grid Network. The Grid Network is now supplied with data from our METAR service provider, NOAA, when an aircraft flies in range of an atom grid station, METARs are automatically uploaded. These are provided for all METAR locations within 150 kilometers of the reporting atom station. One METAR is delivered every eight seconds, resulting in the full set being available within one to two minutes. This means that if you have a pilot-aware atom station at your airfield or club strip, you will have the full set available before you take off. In-range METARs are refreshed in flight as new METARs are published. And best of all, this is yet another complimentary service from PilotAware. So how do we show the METARs on the screen of your iPad or smart device? Firstly, let's have a look at the colour coding. There are four levels of report, two for VMC conditions and two for IMC conditions. PilotAware is licensed for use in VMC conditions only, but it is very important that the pilot in charge has as much information on weather awareness as possible to avoid flying beyond their capability or that which their license allows. Firstly, there are two VMC categories, green for VFR conditions and blue for marginal VFR conditions. Secondly, there are two for IMC conditions, one for IFR rules and one for low IFR rules. Each METAR is shown on the Pilot Aware METAR page and they are listed in distance order from the aircraft in flight. This is how the METARs appear on the Pilot Aware METAR screen. With the METAR shown in nearest order first, you can instantly see deteriorating weather and take appropriate action. Obviously, you'll need a pilot to wear a Zeta or Classic unit on board your aircraft, but at £325 including VAT, pilot to wear is now even better value than ever. In addition to the METARS page, METARS are also shown on a pilot to wear radar screen. The yellow banner in the top right hand corner of the screen shows the number of atom stations in range, then the local QNH then the nearest reporting METAR station. All reporting METAR stations are shown on the radar screen with the METAR status and the local wind feathers showing speed and direction. Here you can see that an aircraft approaching Birmingham in VMC with light winds has higher wind and marginal VMC to the north and east, allowing the pilot to make a judgment call on how to proceed. The Pilot Aware radar screen can be configured for vertical height and horizontal distance. The number of METAR stations shown will increase as the horizontal filter is widened. Additionally, if the vertical filter is open too wide, then commercial traffic flying in controlled airspace at height will be shown. 
This is unnecessary, so we recommend that the filter is set to a maximum of plus or minus 2,000 feet to minimise clutter. The wind feathers shown on the Pilot Aware radar screen are very useful to determine the wind speed at your destination. This chart shows the key for the last reported wind velocity at each METAR site. Each pilot will know his own aircraft's crosswind capability and use the report to determine whether it is safe to land. As METARs are not instantaneous, it is always necessary to use other information when actually landing, such as information from ATC, ATIS reports or the trusted windsock, flag or smoke. When using smart devices with split screens, Pilot Aware will provide a significant amount of situational awareness, both of traffic and now of weather. As you will have seen in previous videos, Pilot Aware shows more traffic types than any other system available today. Now with the introduction of in-flight data, Pilot Aware has become even smarter. And there's more to come. You just wait till you see AirGrid. <laughs>